Hello, I'm Jennifer Wilner, founder of Business Connects, and welcome back to the relaunch of the Business Connects Meet the Member interview series. Joining me today is Shaniqua Wilson of Blue Moon Estate Sales. Hey, Shaniqua. Good morning. Hello. Hi. So if you're not familiar with who Business Connects is, we are a professional business relationship networking company in New Jersey. We meet in person weekly at a number of local businesses and virtually. So please feel free to check out our website, businessconnectsnj.com. And if you're so inclined, visit us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. So without further ado, let's get started and learn a little bit about our friend, my friend Shaniqua here. Hi, hello everyone. I'm Shaniqua Wilson, owner of Blue Moon Estate Sales. Um, within the last year, I'm celebrating my one year anniversary. Um, so just a little bit about me, um, New Jersey, born and raised. Um, I am a mother of two, of one boy, one girl, one of each. And I now have a beautiful grandson. So um, in my spare time, I like spending as much time with my family as I can. And then I also can be a bit of a, a, a couch potato. Um, but if I want some excitement, I also enjoy hitting a good casino or two here and there. Cool. I didn't know that about you, Shaniqua. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. It's something about the lights and the sounds that just, you know, relaxes you and then gets you excited all at the same time. I was say, relaxes, <laughs> I, okay, I wouldn't think of, but... Hey, that's cool. And congratulations on the grandchild. Thank you. Thank you. Well, he's, he's four, but still oh. new to me. My one and only. So he will forever for now be my new grandbaby. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. So Shaniqua, um, can we ask you what prompted you to invest in Blue Moon Estate Sales? Yeah. So um, prior to doing Blue Moon, I was in the airline industry for 25 years. I spent time um, in various operational, administrative, and human resource roles. Um, and when the pandemic hit, um, my job went away. And so I decided to um, kind of figure out what was next for me. And rather than um, trying another corporate role, I decided to see um, if going into business was a good idea for me at the time. So I worked with an executive coach. Um, we researched several different franchise opportunities. So mm -hmm. Blue Moon is a franchise. Um, I am the first and only franchise in New Jersey for the moment. Um, so, so that's been an experience. Um, and I ultimately chose Blue Moon because it was something completely different than what I've done previously. Um, there is a community element to it, a family element where we're helping families in the community at the same time. And, and the benefits that came along with it was what I needed at the time. So that's why I chose Blue Moon. Fantastic. That's great. I didn't, I did not know that they were, that you were their only franchisee um, in Jersey. Yeah. So the closest one to me is actually in New York. And then there's another one in Connecticut, but they are continuing to grow um, across the U.S. Um, they started out of North Carolina and have been spreading North and, and East and West all over. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And who would you say is your perfect referral partner um, and perfect customer that we can connect you with? Sure. My perfect referral partner would be um, real estate agents. You know, they're the ones at the, the first, the head of the line when someone is looking to sell and trying to understand what they need to do with their home belongings that they can no longer take with them. Or, um, you know, right up there along with realtors um, are senior living um, facilities who have income and residents where they can't bring their belongings with them. Um, in terms of a customer, it's anyone who loves finding new treasures, um, love repurposing items, um, anyone who's looking to furnish a new home. So anyone who's mm. recently purchased a home who wants to find a great deal on some great items at um, you know, a very reasonable price, those are ideal people um, who want to come shop with us. Fantastic. All right, that's great. And okay, now this is a little bit of, I don't know if you saw this question earlier, but what process do you go through on a daily business for business on a daily basis? And how do you ensure that you don't get distracted from accomplishing this process, these processes? 
mm -hmm. to um, for whatever they are. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I, I like to, of course, go by my to-do list, right? So we always prioritize our to-do list. And usually what's the high priority for me is following up on any um, requests that I receive for people who are interested in potentially having an estate sale. Um, I follow up on those as soon as I can. If we're in a week where there's a sale upcoming, you know, I want to make sure that we have all of our staging done, all of the pricing done, and that where the staff is um, has accepted their shifts for the week. Um, and then I also, you know, always looking for new business. So I spend time searching different um, leads that I have online, and you know, seeing where I can either network more um, or just get. Uh, my branding and my name out to the community a little more. Of course. Uh, yeah. And as far as staying on, staying on task, um, that one can be a little tricky. <laughs> um, but I do use various, um, you know, online tools to help me do that, um, to make sure, you know, my tasks are in order. You know, it'll give you a, a ding if you're overdoing a task. Mm -hmm. um, I do a lot of email, um, outlook, scheduling on that calendar as well to make sure I stay on task there. Um, but, you know, if, if I have my to-do list then I get, you know, some days I get calls like throughout the day where I have to, um, you know, pay attention to those because those could be potential leads or a, potential, uh, a current client that has questions and needs some things they have to have done as well. So, you know, I just kind of try to keep the priority of what's due first, always at the foresight and, and kind of work it that way so no day always go this planned um there's mm -hmm. always something that comes along but as long as I have you know my my list I stay true to my list and I make sure that I at least go through it to make sure nothing is missed throughout the day absolutely I, I'm I'm with you with the um calendars mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um emails do you ever email yourself <laughs> I do, which is interesting. I, I email myself and I also leave myself like voice reminders on my phone. So it'll, it'll send me a reminder of what to yeah, do. Yeah, right, right. Um, I mean, anybody in Business Connects knows that I am, I always, I learned the trick years ago with um, Mark Unread so mm -hmm. that it doesn't disappear in email strings um, and sending myself, like you said, voice memos and voice text messages um, to people um, or to a fictitious cell phone number. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, oh, wait, that's still there. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, not really fictitious, but like a Google voice that you just don't Right, know. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so would you mind taking a moment to just speak on what your involvement with Business Connects has been like and um, the impact, if any, it's had on your business or, or relationships that you've built within Business Connects and the impact that they've had? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so relationships, that, that's the, the most important part. So we, you know, we do a lot of networking, which is great. Um, you know, people learning about what other people are, um, what their business entail and what they're working on you know, it gives me an opportunity to always learn something new from the other members. Um, as far as relationships, absolutely. Things that sometimes you need to step away from work, um, and I use work in the air quotes, um, and focus a little on, on the personal side. And through Business Connects, you get the opportunity to see people at that personal level, not always just around business. Um, and I have been able to make connections with, you know, someone who's in the field, in the same field as I am, and we've been able to kind of bounce off of each other in terms of questions or other resources we may need, or you know, I've been able to you know filter referrals that way, and they've done the same on this end as well. So I think that's another perk of being able to network and and kind of you know build relationships with people through Business Connects. Um, it, it's awesome that there is a virtual component to it as well as an in person. Um, and there's different chapters to move between so that you're seeing different people and hearing new ideas. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad to hear that the, the business is happening and you're making these connections. And, and sometimes even if somebody's in 
the same industry, would would you agree that, you know, um, we don't know we don't know what we don't know, and we do know that we don't know everything. <laughs> right, right, and, and I mean that's that's a, that was a great um, addition for me because again I'm new to the industry, right, and you know the other business was more established than I am, had more experience, and although I'm a I am a franchise and I have a great resource and network behind me, it's also good to hear a perspective of someone outside of that mm-hmm. as well. So that's been a, a good resource. Right, right. And if you had this, um, if you had one tip for somebody looking to go into business right now, I mean, it's been, it's been crazy um, past few years and things are always changing and we have to keep pivoting about on, on our offerings and who we're connecting to and everything. But if somebody said to you, Chiniqua, I want to go into business and I don't know what I want to do, but I want to be an entrepreneur. What's like one tip that you would give them as they're considering what to do? Yeah, I, you know, they don't know what to do. I, I think they need to first understand what their passion is and what would be the reason, like, why are they choosing to be an entrepreneur? And kind of understand what that means and what that looks like. Um, because it's, you know, there's been some eye-opening moments for me that, you know, kind of when you, when I thought about it initially, I didn't consider it. So there are, you know, just kind of socialize the idea with people from the industry that they they decide, or if they need help deciding which industry to move into, socialize that with some people. Maybe they have a mentor that they're aware of, or there are some free um, coaching sites out there that can help people kind of understand where their strengths are and, and their passions and guide them that way. Um, but yeah. don't jump into anything, you know, just because you want to be an entrepreneur. Really take the time and understand what it means, what it looks like, and, and how it's going to affect them moving forward. Yeah, great, great advice, great advice. So if someone was looking to um, contact you, I'm going to um, share my screen in a second of the website, but would you like to be able to tell them your website and any additional contact information or maybe events that are coming up that they can find you at? Yeah, absolutely. So my website is bluemoonestatesales.com forward slash Union County hyphen New Jersey. Um, forward slash. But if you just put in bluemoonestatesales.com and then search for New Jersey, you'll find me that way as well. Um, we are on Facebook and Instagram at Blue Moon Estate Sales NJ. My direct phone number is 908-494-0961. And my email is swilson at bluemoonestatesales.com. Fantastic. And oh, and speaking of upcoming sales, I, I don't, this may be shared before then, but there is our next sale is at the end of July, the 29th and 30th, for Friday and Saturday in Union, New Jersey. Fantastic. And if somebody's looking for the details, are they on your website about the sale? Yes, all of our um, uh, detail, all of the details are on our website as well as pictures. Um, the full address is not available until the early morning prior to the sale. Right, makes sense, makes sense. Um, Okay, great. So here is on my screen, you'll see Shaniqua's um, profile on the Business Connects website and with links back to her website, Instagram and Facebook. And by the time you see this video, this video will appear in this space as well. Um, as well as on Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram um, also. So um, thank you, Shaniqua. And oh, any Business Connects, where can they, if somebody came to Business Connects and they were looking to meet you, where would you say is the best chapter that they could meet you at? So the best chapter would probably be the Middlesex chapter. Middlesex chapter. Okay, Middlesex. fantastic. It's always good to know. So or everybody, any virtual. <laughs> or virtual any virtual, session. or any virtual, right, right. Yes. <laughs> so this is just a quick tour through the website, everybody. Um, here's our homepage. 
And when I searched for Shaniqua, I typed in the name of her company, but you can also go to this little search option and type in um, the service that she provides. So if you type in the words estate sales, Shaniqua's profile will come up as well. And here are the events that Shaniqua was um, mentioning as well. So our virtual chapter is next on um, Tuesday, the 19th of July, and then again, Wednesday, the 27th of July. And you can find out about all the chapters our Edison chapter that meets Friday mornings, every Friday at 8.15 a.m. With, with the exclusion of national holidays. Our Middlesex chapter that meets alternate Wednesdays. Our South Plainfield chapter that meets in-person alternate Tuesdays. And our Wednesday virtual chapter. But everything is always on the Business Connects events um, tab of the website and always on Eventbrite as well. So thank you again, Shaniqua. We appreciate your time. And it was great introducing you to everybody through the kickoff of Business Connects, Meet the Member Series. Thank you so much for being part of this. And we really value you as a member um, and a part of, the, part of the family and the community of Business Connects. Thanks, Jen. I, I'm enjoying being a member. Fantastic. All right, everybody. So that's a wrap for today. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel and the website to meet our next Business Connects member on the Business Connects Meet the Members interview series with yours truly, Jen Wilner. Have a great day. Bye-bye.